hello and welcome back to a new tutorial in this video we are going to be looking at some xr interaction toolkit examples that uh, unity has provided us so we will learn how to import this uh, package or download this project and run it and we will also look at some of the interactions that are present in this package for those of you who have uh, not followed the introduction to VR development series, I highly recommend you go check that out if you're an absolute beginner. And for those of you who are familiar with the basics, you can just uh, stick with me. So the first thing, I have my browser window open here and we will search for XR Interaction Toolkit examples. And as soon as you do that, uh, you can see the first uh, link here on the GitHub. So we will open that up <clears throat> and this is the package that uh, Unity has provided for us, the XR Interaction Toolkit examples and this has a lot of advanced interactions that you can use in your projects and but if you looked at the previous uh, set of videos in the introduction to VR development series, uh, we did see some basic interactions in their uh, demo scene but this is just one step further and uh, we will start by downloading it first. We can uh, download the zip here. So you just click on code and download the zip file. Okay, so you can see that our uh, XR Interaction Toolkit examples have downloaded. I will extract this. So let's just extract that to a path. So once we extract it, the only thing that is left to do is opening it up inside Unity. So I will open up Unity Hub. I will add the project that we have just downloaded. Navigate to wherever you installed that. And that would be here for me. And we will just click on open. And here uh, you can see that they have uh, created this project on Unity 2021. Dot three dot thirty three F one, but uh, we are using uh, twenty twenty two dot three dot four. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it with that version, and we can change the version. It shouldn't cause any problems. So it's it, we're getting a prompt here saying uh, it may, it might need to re-import all the assets. So we will just hit continue, and we will wait for it to re-import all the assets and make the project compatible with the version that we have now. Okay, so we have our project here and it has uh, upgraded to the editor version 2022.3.4 or whatever version you might be using. Ideally, let it be more than 2021.3.33, the version that they have made it in. Let's open the project now. The project has now opened and uh, as you can see there is a message here it says URP material upgrade since we are us using a newer version of Unity um, it is just a prompt that um, Unity would uh, want to upgrade them uh, Unity wants to upgrade the materials so that we can use them in this version of the editor so we will just go ahead and click OK And as you can see, this project has already been set up in URP and uh, the samples that we had imported previously in our uh, 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 introduction to VR development series, you can see they're all here. So it's the exact same scene. If you go to the samples section, you remember this scene that we had imported. But anyway, we are now going to go to the XRI examples folder here. And here you can see there are different folders for each uh, capability that they have provided. So if I let me go into scenes and here you can see the XRI examples main scene. So we will open that. And we have this amazing looking scene that Unity has created for us. 
you can see all the different types of interactions here that have been created so let's give this a play and uh, explore this package okay so testing out the xr interaction toolkit example scene now on my headset i've entered quest link uh, through the menu and if you don't know how what to do on the headset before you play a project a unity project i recommend you check out part 1 of the introduction to vr development series where i show you what needs to be done on the headset before you begin so now we are going to check out the scene the first thing that you're going to see is when you move back and forth there is this a black sort of drawer that comes a circular drawer that comes down and we call this a vignette what a vignette does is uh, this supposedly re reduces motion sickness uh while using vr so some people are really susceptible to motion sickness while using vr so you might experience vertigo and things like that so this is an important uh uh thing that you can add for such users so what it does is it creates sort of a tunnel vision that uh so that when you move back and forth you only see what is in front of you and the sides are blocked out and this reduces vertigo and motion sickness let's start with the walk through here use the trigger here you can see the different types of grab interactables and we learned how to set this up in our introduction series so this is pretty straight forward we'll go to the next set and these are activated interactable so activated interactables are basically something that you can grip and then trigger so for example let's say a gun a gun is an example of an activated interactable so you grab it and then when i press the trigger you see the color changes and instead of the color change in a gun we would be firing bullets and do a lot of things so when you grab and you trigger to activate a particular uh, action on the object these are socket interactables and the socket interactables are basically you can grab an object and you can put it back in the same position so these are super helpful when you want to build assembly uh, experiences so if you're sort of teaching somebody how to assemble a robot or if you're teaching somebody how to assemble a car for example you can use this uh, type of interactable so i have my object here and it goes into a predefined slot i can take it out interact with it and place it back in its slot so these are gaze interactors uh, you can see a reticle so the i sort of thing that you see in the middle of the screen is called a reticle and whatever i look at with the reticle it changes color so this is a gaze interaction so when i'm looking at something an interaction happens so coming to the focus interactables here focus is nothing but highlighting so when you move your mouse on top of a particular button you see there's a change of color that happens to let the user know that it is being uh, hovered on so a focus interactable is the is exactly the same thing so when i just move the rain tractor on top of it i'm not doing anything just moving the rain tractor on it you see it just changes color and this is a focus interactable and this is helpful to let the user know when he is uh, about to do uh, uh, use a button or something so for example this is here we have a switch so when i press it when i touch it it highlights letting me know that i can interact with it 
Okay, so we will now look at the 2D UI here, which is back there for some reason. So we can teleport there. So using our, on our uh, right controller, we can just use the joystick, push it forward and teleport to any location that we want. And here you can see the different types of 2D UI. And uh, in our introduction series, we learned the basics of how to set up 2D UI. These are uh, sort of better looking and have more interactions on them. So you can see the different types of uh, panels that they have made. You have the input fields, sliders and toggles, buttons and so on. Okay. This is uh, 3D UI also you can notice that these are just simply just interactables and here they have made a they made it uh, focus interactable so I can also grab this and move it back and forth. So we have a lever here we have a joystick this is called a knob interactable. We have a wheel, and a few types of switches here. And here we have the physics interactables. So these are interactables that react to physics. So I can throw them around, I can throw them on each other. And we have the climb interactables that we also have in the samples uh, folder in our XR interaction toolkit samples. So in addition to the walkthrough, um, there are quite a bit of uh, cool interactables here that you can play around with. So you can see a bunch of interesting interactables here. And you can see each one of these is made up of the basic interactable types that you saw uh, in the intro uh, section. So you can see here, this is a socket interactor. So we have a whip sort of thing here and then this is a socket interactor here. Here we have a trigger based interactable so I am grabbing it and I can press the uh, button on the speaker by use, uh, using the trigger. The same thing with the gun. Here we have more these are sort of physics based interactables. And here we have another uh, nice socket interactor based uh, activity. And finally here we have some doors that can be that are built based on knob interactor. So this is a knob interactor. We have a key here. I'm guessing it's a socket interactable. There we go. And this, I can just push this door open. And we have some drawers here. And finally here we have a nice big panel which uh, allows us to explore the different types of locomotion settings, the movement settings and uh, so on. So we have now explored the main interaction scene. But I want to show you another thing. So in the project here, if I go to the scene section, you will see the different uh, scenes here uh, called station 1, station 2, station 3. And the, there are about seven, uh, six scenes here. And each, each of these scenes is a different module of the main 
uh, scene that has been split up so this is the scene where everything is set up and if you go to station 1 you will find only the for example the settings panel here if i go to station 2 you will see our different types of grab interactables socket interactables and so on so take a look at these scenes uh, when you start development because when you need to uh, make something immediately you can come up to one of these scenes and take a look at how to set them up so that was a brief introduction to the xr interaction toolkit examples project in the following videos we are going to be exploring how to set up some of these interactables from scratch of course if i can cover all of them i will uh, but we will be starting with uh, some uh, for starters so stay tuned for that and i will see you in the next one